Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome to part two of our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on reinstalling Windows XP. Now in this segment, I'm going to talk about backing up, because before you reinstall XP, you'll want to back up everything, everything you need off of the computer. You don't want to start the reinstall process and suddenly realize you forgot something, or worse, get the reinstall process finished and realize you forgot something. Trust me, I've done that. So first, you want to make sure you have a backup of your programs. If you have enough room and you've backed up your programs and the data, you're all set. If you don't have enough disk space, then make sure you back up the data from your programs. You can always reinstall the programs on your new clean install and then put in the data. Some other things you want to make sure you don't forget. The My Documents folder. You don't want to forget that. Inside My Documents, and if you don't keep them there, you also want to remember your pictures your music, your videos. You want to make sure you remember desktop items. Find those, go into Windows Explorer, look under Drive C generally, Documents and Settings. You'll see the usernames, Administrator, All Users, Michael, Doc, Paul, Bill, Mary, whatever. Go in, click on those. Get the desktop items, the favorites. You think about things that are on your desktop, you may have files in this folder, and if you don't take it, it's going to be gone. So you want to make sure you have those. Another thing that I've personally forgotten several times is bookmarks. Now, I use a program called Xmarks, formerly called Foxmarks. It's just excellent. I have a link for it in the show notes, which backs up and synchronizes all your bookmarks. But if you don't have that, all of the browsers have a way to export bookmarks. This is Firefox. You just click bookmarks, organize bookmarks. You select the bookmarks you want. Click here, say export to HTML. It'll make a file called bookmarks.html. Make sure you back that up and then you can import it into a new version of Firefox. Same holds true with Opera, Internet Explorer, Safari, and so on. Another thing you want to make sure you have is your XP product key. You don't want to start a reinstall and realize you left the key in the computer. And the thing that you need to do is think about this. Make a list. If you forget something, you won't be able to get it back. So sit down and think. What are the things you use all the time? What are the things you don't want to lose besides music and photos and pictures and documents and the data from your programs? Think about these things. Make sure you have good, solid backups, and then you'll be able to start the reinstall process. So, backup, backup, backup. And that concludes part two.